I'll get to a Negro's sea bass. In terms of flavour, sea bass tastes nice. Um, don't really get the potato on potato, the soup with the set of potatoes. That doesn't quite make sense. However, what does lift the dish is those wonderful raisins and pine nuts on the top of the sea bass. Lola Rojos. This is a classic fish stew. Nothing glamorous, just great, bold flavours. That's lovely. Perfectly seasoned fish stew. He's gone really ultra-modern on the starter, but for the main course, he's pulled it back a bit. Two really good dishes. It'll be interesting to see what the diners prefer. If it was down to my choice, I'd go with the fish stew. So, the results are in. Right, Simon. Um, Seabass, yeah, how well do you think you did out of 50? About 40. About 40. With such a great start, you feel less confident, only 40, not 50. I'm more nervous, actually. More nervous? More nervous, yeah, yeah. yeah. Antonio, <laughs> the fish stew, out of 50, how well do you think you've done? 40. 40? Yeah. OK, uh, JB, please. OK, let's go El Gato Negro first, yes? The number of customers there that are happy to pay for your sea bass out of 50 is... Well done. 32 out of 50. Good news. Very good news. <laughs> the um, 18 customers that didn't pay, feedback, um, please. Uh, too, uh, too much vinegar. In too much sauce. vinegar. Yeah. Simon, happy with that? 32 out of 50? Uh, so, so. I wanted to get to 40. Yeah. OK, Antonio. The number of guests that are happy to pay for your fish stew out of 50 is... Thirty-eight out of fifty. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Really well done. Really well done indeed. That means when you combine the scores, yes, there's only four points in it now. There's twenty-five covers each to cook for the desserts. Yes. That means every plate matters. And now this is neck and neck. Okay, clear down. Get ready for dessert.